first year position coach, what's, what's the experience been like for you? What, what was what you thought it'd be? What's different? Yeah, uh, it's been what I thought. It's a little unique um, with Greg still being here, Coach Lewis being just down the hall. Uh, we can go to him. I go to him uh, daily for questions, advice. Our guys go to him. So <clears throat> uh, I'm the new receiver coach, but we kind of just gained an extra receiver coach because Greg is still there and the guys I feel free to go talk to him as well. So it's been seamless, uh, to, in, at least for me. Coach Andy Reid over the past year has given you a lot of credit as being the innovative guru behind the scenes. And of course, you know, this is our first time the opportunity to talk to you, but where does that creativity come from? And then who will you draw your inspiration from to come up with some of the plays that we see? Yeah, nice. Uh, he's deflecting. He's the uh, creative guru. Uh, he's giving credit where credit isn't due. Uh, but we do look and we do try to find plays from anywhere in the country. And when we find something that is being successful, if it's not something we currently have in, then either we try to copy it straight up and put it in or we see how it can fit. And if something's working, we're all about uh, putting guys in the best position to succeed. If there's a concept or a way to do that that we don't currently have in, coach is not afraid to add it. And so that's the great thing about uh, him, our offensive staff, our offense, and the guys we have, they're eager to get more and more and more and have more on their plate in order to showcase their abilities. Have you ever had an example of that that maybe doesn't give anything away to something you've already run that maybe you saw watching tape from, from one of the instances you're talking about? Um, not a specific example, but with the def I'll just say with the defenses in this league, anything that's on film for two, three weeks that's successful, they'll have an answer for it. So we're looking out constantly, weekly, for what, what just got ran yesterday, what just got ran in college the week before, what's something that maybe the defense hasn't seen yet, or maybe the defense we're uh, facing that week hasn't seen yet, because part of it is also the element of surprise. So I mean, I would say it's a weekly type situation where it's like, we don't have this, we saw it, let's get it going before the league has an answer for it. So were you responsible for the shift and spin from Michigan from <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't remember past the '80s. That anything past that is all credit to Coach Reed. I don't want to date him or age him or anything, but any YouTube videos from that era are uh, definitely Coach Reed's. <laughs> Coach, uh, strengths and weaknesses. How he's doing so far in camp? Yeah, Cornell's doing great. I thought he came up with uh, two big catches late in that game uh, that really helped us in the two-minute drive. He's got to stack that. Excited for him to compete on Friday. When the lights are on, uh, he's just got to continue to grow. We put a lot on his plate early. He's flashed some great things. He's got to clean up some details. But I'm excited the way he finished that game and to just see him build Friday against Arizona. Three more. Three more. Joe, what have you seen from your hard man camp to the leading the league? He's ready for a bigger role. If that's what you guys choose to do with him this year. Yeah, McColl, McColl is incredibly smart. He's obviously incredibly athletic. He's taken coaching, and he's taken the hint, and he's taken the um, – quarterback's input, the, the coaching staff's input on what he's doing, and he's really applied it to the field. And Go ahead. No, please. There, there are times when, because he's so fast, he's relied on just running past people or running as fast as he can down the field, which he can do that because he's that fast. We've added, hey, you can set the guy up and not only run past him, but you can really beat your man with this type of uh, move or this type of maneuver and he's then gone out and implemented that and experimented it with it at practice so just that willingness to there's one there's a strength in his game and someone's given him an, an idea on how to make it even stronger and he'll be willing to go try it and do it yeah consistency reliability Kemp knows the offense uh, he's comfortable running any route uh, no matter what the defense is doing, uh, what type of look he's getting, he knows where to be and how to get there, especially to his strength. He's not going to try to be somebody he's not. So uh, all the confidence and comfort in the world with Kemp, anything in our offense, anything we ask him to do or our receivers in general, that he'll be at the right spot. Looking at the overall offense and now coming at the position standpoint, how much cross coaching training is going on between running backs and tight ends that could also – Sort of added on to the role of a receiver. Or, or, or those those yeah, I think I understand your question. For the pass game in general, we, we all got to work together. The re receivers have routes, and in any, any individual concept, each receiver has an individual route. But for the concept to work, 
you got to incorporate the, the tight ends and the running backs and know what they're doing versus certain coverages so that your depth or how you run your route can change. So it's all intertwined. There's definitely specific uh, roles and coaching points we have for each route, but within then the bigger concept, the more knowledge you have of what everybody's doing helps everybody's route, I should say, with the concept. Hey, Coach, Reed Fountain's a guy who's had an injury the last couple of seasons, but seems to have had a really good camp. Uh, what is it that kind of surprised you, or what's really impressed you about it? Uh, he came in super focused and intent on making the team. And you could tell he, he, in his mind he wasn't going to be denied. And we talked about early, in order to do that, he had to be consistent and show the same effort and the same intensity every single day and every play. And he hasn't shied away from that. He's shown that. He's been consistent. Uh, he got a lot of opportunities in the game on Saturday. He made the most of them. He's going to continue to get opportunities in these preseason games, and he needs to continue to be consistent and make the most of them. All right, thanks. <clears throat> All right, thanks.